this is our lounge right now it's so messy because i am organizing it for the work and we are going away all of this side is going to be covered and this side are also going to be covered and then we're going to have the tv is going to come out because it's actually in a recess yeah, so it's going to yeah tv's going to come out and then we are also going to have down here a bioethanol fireplace it's going to be having a glass panel so it will look have the illusion of being one room but it's actually going to be two and we're going to have a beam put down the center as well this is a section that i said that we're going to be making into a cupboard area so nick's just taping them up just undo like this and then you can walk through but yeah i'm really excited to see what that's going to look like so when i come back i'll start showing you what the work's looking like so we've literally just walked in and look at the wall it looks incredible so the glass isn't in yet but this is the frame and it looks so much bigger so we're gonna have see that's gonna be all glass now between the dining room and the lounge and it already it just it feels lighter already and we've just walked in so we are so excited it's gonna look fantastic it is so this is gonna be the door and the glass is gonna be through the door as well so they've handmade all of this um yeah wow really wow we're really excited about it now mm. so we're gonna go to bed now because we've just literally walked in and we are tired so arla's very excited as well are you excited about the work arla yeah. does it look good, so good. yeah but yes. she's very tired are you tired messy. yeah daddy coming back it's bedtime isn't it bedtime. say no night to everyone no night no so here is a little update of what it's looking like so the frame is looking really good now so steve has been doing this today it looks very very nice he's been making it all perfect obviously he has to fit it around the beam as well which is really tricky so he's been working on that today um obviously the glass has still got to go in these sections but it is looking fantastic and then he's also marked out like where everything's going so tv section is going to be here and the um fire is going to be down there and these are going to be the cupboard spaces here and here but yeah how much bigger does it look it looks so good so much lighter as well just letting all the light it's brilliant it's really brilliant we're so excited it's a very exciting day today because the glass is going in. Oh, a mess. It is a bit of a mess at the moment, yes, Arla, but if you have a look here, you can see the glass is ready to go into this section here. The gap's there, here as well, and at the door. And they're just bringing it in now. Okay, we've got to keep away a sec. Come with mummy, come with mummy. Okay, so that is the glass pane for the door which is going to be going in here. Just want to show you where the beam is as well because Steve had to really get the wood perfectly around it and he did such a good job. It looks amazing. It looks like it's always been here. And yes, look at the light in here now. It's just going to be amazing. amazing. Yeah. Okay, so he's going to bring in the heavier bits now. So these bits are going to be big. So we've got to be careful, Allah. Wow, look at that bit. Big bit. That's a big bit, Arla.
is in and it looks amazing it looks so so good it just feels like it's always been like this like it just looks perfect we are so happy with it i'm gonna hopefully get the dining room back to normal today steve's gonna put the handle on with graham and then we've got a functional dining room again there are a few little bits they're going to tidy up on it and they've got to remove the excess silicon which is around the edges if you can just see but they're going to do that next week but it looks amazing and you can see our table and chairs in there as well we've just moved them down we've got covers on the seat but the light just comes in it'll come in through the dining room as well Oh, it just looks phenomenal. We are so impressed. It just looks like it's always been here. Like it really looks part of the house and it matches so well with our stairs. You can't fully see them, but it just looks so in keeping and we're so happy with it. Like they've done the best job. So next week they're going to just tidy that area up. And we also tested it to see how it would sound like when Nick was in there working and you literally it's like the same as having a wall there you because the glass is so thick you can barely kind of hear him you can hear him but not really so that's great because that is kind of his office area as well and then next week they're going to be working on this area so we're going to have a tv up hopefully maybe by the end of next week maybe the week after so they're building the carcasses at the moment in the workshop and then they'll be bringing them in on tuesday and yeah, we're going to have some really nice cupboard space in here. The TV's going to look amazing. The fireplace we can't wait to try. So the TV we got is this one. We got it from John Lewis because of the warranty. And we will link it in the description below. Um, but yeah, I think maybe it's 55 inch. I'll have to check that one with Nick. But I think we got 55 inch. It might actually say somewhere on here. Yeah, we got this 55 inch one because um, we wanted it to be big and it, that will sit perfectly with the fire which is there at the moment it's all coming together really nicely now this bit now is going to transform next week so can't wait to show you guys how the progress comes along one of the main things as well that we really wanted is to be able to see properly the base of our um, table because it's beautiful as teak root and our chairs as well, even though they've got covers on at the moment, they are so stunning. They're from West Elm and we just love it so much. And you couldn't really see it. We couldn't really see the table or the chairs really when you came in here before because of the wall being there, the wall was there. It was, I mean, you could see them, but they were a bit hidden. So now you're going to be able to see it from this angle, which is nice because it really showcases it off. And we got the, the table was bespoke made for us um, by Raft and i'll link that in the description below and i'll link i think west elm have similar chairs they don't have these exact ones anymore but they have similar and i'll try and link them in the description below as well for you and then our pampas grass chandelier is going to look phenomenal so when you come in the house from this way you'll be able to see the pampas grass chandelier from sitting in here as well so it's all going to look really exciting so here is an update of the tv area so today they've started to put the cupboard carcasses in and as you can see this is where the fire is going to go here and the tv is going to go above it um so i feel like things are really kind of kicking on a bit um with that um obviously our glass area is done now on the wall and um, we absolutely love that so that's been there for over a week now and it it really creates so much more light in here so we're really excited to kind of see this come together it has taken a lot longer than we thought we originally thought this project would take about two weeks but 
it's come we're on to the fourth week now um they're doing a lot behind the scenes so they've started to install the bits that they've been working on behind the scenes and hopefully tomorrow things are going to really change again um but yeah it's looking great so all of this down here this is all of our sky like bt all of that that's going to be housed in here as well it's going to look really great and actually the depth of the cupboards so that's our kind of wall recess. It's going to be quite good. So I'm hoping we're going to be able to fit like some books in there, toys. Just basically or add so much storage to our lounge. I'm really excited. So yeah, there's a little update for you guys. What's this laser bit for? That's just showing us the finished height of the television in, when it's in the uh, re in recess. So. so that's where the TV's going to yeah. be. And this is what the gadget looks like as well. Very clever. It's looking good. We're getting there. So we had a bit of a hiccup this morning. We realised that our um, TV bracket isn't going to work. So we had to order a new one because the one we had was one that you just slot in and obviously we can't slot it. So um, we've ordered a new one from Amazon. So hopefully that one will be better. Okay, so it's the end of the day again and this is the latest. So the actual front, I don't think it's obviously fixed in yet, but this is where the fireplace is going to go. It looks so good. It's a lot bigger than I thought it would be, but I'm I'm really intrigued to see what's going to look like when it's actually all fitted in. Um, as I mentioned before, we obviously had that issue with the TV bracket, so the new one we've ordered is coming today or tomorrow actually. Sorry, from Amazon, and that one you literally pull that one out, um, and then you can um like pull it all the way out and then you can add leads in if you need to etc as opposed to one that, that we ordered one that slides on so if you're going to have something that is like sunken in for example our tv is going to be flush with the wall as opposed to kind of it will be in a recess as opposed to out then make sure when you buy a tv bracket that it's not one that you have to slide off it's one that you need to pull out so we made that mistake but it's fine we've bought a new one these things happen um yeah, so things are happening. They've been working on this today, like the bottom down here, the corners. So we wanted to make sure that we didn't have sharp edges, obviously for Arla. Um, we don't want her running into the sides and it being sharp. So this kind of like smooth edge looks great. Um, obviously, it's all going to be painted as well um, in the same colour as our cupboards afterwards. But I don't know if I showed you these doors as well. So these are the doors. They're going to go on the front. So there'll be four doors. So there'll be one, two three four then our handles yeah it's coming on nicely um let me just show you what it's looking like in here right now though <laughs> um this dust sheet has been amazing so it's very annoying for us as you can imagine but we put the dust sheet around the stairs and that has helped a lot and obviously we had all those door things on so we've we haven't had any dust upstairs it's been great and to be honest the guys are so clean they vacuum like every single night they're they make sure it's nice because Arla walks through here. Even though I make sure she wears shoes, she walks through here. So we wanted to make sure it's safe. But it's just looking so big in here now. Um, it won't look as big when we obviously have our furniture back to normal. But it really just feels like a much bigger space. It's just so nice to see through to the dining room. Um, I'm just so excited to get new sofas as well. I need to start thinking about Because what we want to do is ideally have... So we'll have a sofa here, probably like a three-seater. Because the one right now we've got is pretty much a three-seater. It's quite big. And then we're also going to have a sofa that will go here. And then we're thinking potentially we get two chairs, one here and one here, um, that will match the sofa. And then I'm thinking a nice rug on the floor, probably a square a rectangular rug, and then a circular coffee table that will go here. So it should look a really nice space when it's finished. So it is the following day and you can really see it starting to take shape now. So there is the fire, it's in. Obviously the, the actual working function isn't in, but the casing is in. That's how it's looking. The This is obviously where the TV is gonna be going. You can see how it's going to kind of take shape now it looks so good I'm like if you stand back let me just stand back a sec 
This is what it's looking like. So it's the next day and the sides are on now so you can see it's really taking shape. I'll just show you around this side. So he's beveled all of the edges so it's going to be nice and flat smooth. So now they've added the primer on. It looks so much more real, like it's actually coming to life. So once they've finished the unit, they're going to be starting the under the stairs cupboard. So that's also something else they've got to do. So I feel like we're definitely going to be into like end of next week now. So the work, so it's going to be just over a month, this work. So it's starting to take more shape. As you can see, the doors are on. And hopefully tomorrow, the other set of doors are going to be going in. So we've got the electrician coming tomorrow to finish doing some of the back kind of work for the fireplace, sort it all out so we can obviously put the fire on and you've got a few things to make sure that we can switch on easily like Sky or Internet, BT um, and we want to have room for like the DVD player and also um, the Wii in case we want to use that. So it's definitely taking shape now. Um, yeah, I'm really excited about that because I feel like tomorrow's we're going to see like almost kind of looking finished. Um, we're going to have, obviously it's got to be painted, we've got to put the handles on as well, um, the brackets got to go on the wall, the TV's got to go in, um, just some general kind of tidying up as well. And then they're going to be working also on the under the stairs area, which we can't wait for because we're just going to put all of our toys in there as well. So yeah, I think we're thinking it's going to be... Still got to finish that. We've got a few bits around the house as well, just like odds and ends to do. And they've also done the step down here as well. If I can try and show you it, they've taken all the old paint off that step and put some fresh varnish on it. It was like a really not very nice brownie colour before, but now it looks really nice. So yeah, it's looking great everywhere. So obviously, this is the evening time now, so you can see the sun's coming in. We've got a sunset view. Um which you can sort of see down there and we get the most amazing sunsets here so if the light in here in the evening is just going to be wow it's going to look so nice so yes I'll show you the progress tomorrow so it's the next day and the electrician has it been today so they're just sorting out all of the cables of things of where we're going to have obviously all the boxes that we need, the consoles, etc. And he also put this lovely light up for us because we used to have a floor lamp down here. But obviously that's not going to happen anymore because we're going to have the love seat, um, which is going to go down here. So we can't have a floor lamp. So we've put bought this beautiful light, which I will link um, in the description. Um, it's from Olivia's, I think it's called, and we've got this gorgeous, um, like faceted bulb as well to go in it. Um, and it's, yeah, so we've got it attached to our light fixtures, um, area now, so we can turn it on and off, um, by the app, which is great. So it's really starting to come together. Um, and also Steve has been working on the covered under the stairs today as well so he started to kind of um kind of line up where the door's gonna go as you can see there's now the hole where the door's gonna go and then this bit here that's gonna be well that's gonna look like wool so yeah it's really it's really coming together a bit more um so the doors are all here as well so they're gonna be put on the next couple of days um and i think the electricians have to come back and just finish off some of the fascias on the plug areas. But we're getting there. Yay! So the cupboard doors are in, but they are being taken away just because Steve is going to cut them slightly um, to make the panelling as we've got on these ones. Hello, Ella! Hello. <laughs> um, but th that is how it's going to look. It's going to look great. So you can see how much space we're going to have in that cupboard. It's going to be amazing. Um, and yeah, if I just show you in here, what he's done 
round the top to make sure that it closes properly. It's like beveled the top to make sure it shuts nicely. But look, this is what the cupboard's going to be like. So much space in it. It's going to be amazing. So another update. It is looking really good now. So you can really see it's nearly finished. Um, the fire is working as well. I can't wait to show you guys what that looks like. And we've just got to do a couple more coats on the paint. And then um, it's the handles. The shelves are in as well. So it's looking amazing. This area as well is yet to be done. So this is where we're going to have the little love seat. So that still needs to be finished off. So under the stairs is looking amazing. So all of these panels are looking great and they're just going to add the beading on the sides. But yeah, it's starting to really come together now. So exciting. The shelves got to go in there as well. Um, but it is starting to really look amazing. Like we're so, so happy with this. TV, when the TV's in, we can actually sit in here and watch TV again. Woohoo! I am just organising all of the cupboards right now because they are done. Dun, dun, dun. So all of Arla's toys need to go in here, which I'm so excited about because it means we're going to actually have our spare room back again. Um, hey, I, I found a pink one. Look. Wow. It's a pink one. Uh, Are you making a mess in here? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> because I've got all her toys down that she hasn't actually seen for about six, it's seven weeks. I know, I see it. Um, she's so excited because she hasn't seen them for so long because they've been put away for the work. So she's loving it. But obviously she's making loads of mess. So everything that I'm trying to clear up, she's just using, but that's fine. She's enjoying herself. So I'm just trying to put everything away um, and organise it nicely. So this cupboard here, um, which is on the right hand side of the TV, is going to be basically all of Arla's toys. And then the other one is going to be, that's where we've got storing our sky box, etc. Let me just show you what it looks like, but it's not finished yet because we've got a few bits and bobs left. So this one has got all of our sky stuff in. I've just put some books at the bottom there, I just need to finish sorting them out. Obviously there's a few bits from, left over from the work, so that needs to go. And then we're going to organise all the cables a little bit more and just tidy them up a bit. So this one's going to be where you put all of the... Like the Skybox BT, like internet, DVD, we if we use it, um, and then just anything else that we want to put in here, like we've put books in here, we'll probably put a few more books in, um, just kind of like a little storage area for us, and then the other one's going to be, that will be all Arla's stuff. Okay guys, it's finally the day our lounge is finished now i've actually waited a little bit after we had the work done to film it I've had so much going on it's been our birthday my sister got married just been a million things going on so i'm going to show you the final work we're really excited so the lounge isn't completely finished yet we haven't done our sofas yet um but we are going to take you on our sofa shopping trip potentially tomorrow um and then obviously we need to get like a rug and a coffee table but the um the cupboard's in and we're really excited to show you so have a look so this was the love seat area. I don't know if you've watched my previous video. It just kind of shows you my sketches and um, kind of like the inspiration behind what we wanted to have here. So we wanted to have something that hid our plugs, um, was easy, like sleek, um, and didn't look too like clobbery. Um, so what we've done is we've got a nice like love seat area. So we're going to have different cushions on here, but it's just to give you an idea of how you can put cushions on it. You can get a cushion made potentially for it, but we are probably just gonna put some nice big cushions on it. Um, and basically it has a bit of storage in as well, which is great. So I've just put Arla's blanket in there for now. And then the cupboard. So this is a bit messy in here because it's mainly our electric. So it's like a Sky um, BT, but it looks great. So have a look. So we've got shelving in here. We've put books in, we've got a few of Arla's bits, but we're gonna give it a bit of a sort out and clear up. But it's amazing. This is storage we didn't have before and we love it. It's so handy having extra space and we just don't want to see any of that stuff. So it looks really nice and it sits back to our other cupboards um, that I showed you in the previous video. It looks the same. So this bit's really exciting. Do you guys see the fire? Okay, so new TV, which we got from John Lewis. I'll link it in the description below. 
We love it. The picture is amazing. We obviously been watching TV now for a month or so and it's been amazing and the quality's great, the picture's great, you know, watching films just it just it's brilliant. We love it. And it's so much nicer now. You can press like different buttons on the remote control. Actually let me show you. Um so this is the remote. So we just literally click the buttons. So we've got YouTube, Netflix, and Disney, and Prime. Do we have all of them? Yeah, we do. So yeah, we're just literally clicking the buttons and it comes straight on as opposed to like going to the app and finding it. So love it. And then the fire. So it might actually just come on in there. I'm going to put the remote down. Um, so we turned it on. It has a switch, which is in this cupboard here, but um, this is our remote control for it. Um, so start and stop easy really self-explanatory and then these two here so if you want it to go lower or higher i think it's about to light up as well here we go okay so it takes a few minutes to heat up so when you put it on don't be alarmed if you get this um it doesn't instantly go on um but basically you just need to give it about five minutes and then it suddenly the flame lights across the bottom and it's on which is amazing so come have a closer look how amazing is that? It looks incredible. So at the moment it's on the highest setting, so we can basically change it around. So I'm just gonna put it onto the lower setting as well. It's so basically, it just makes a little beep and then um, you'll start to notice. It's not gonna happen instantly, you start to notice if the flame gets lower or if you press the higher one, it gets higher. Um, so you can adjust it. Uh, we have noticed that um, we didn't know this, but it does actually emit quite a bit of heat. Not anything like major, but in the summer, you probably won't want to use it as much or for a short period of time because there's definitely a heat given off from it. But in the winter, it's actually perfect because it warms out. It really warms the lounge super quick. Um, you can see the flames got lower now. But it looks stunning. In, in it, I will definitely be filming um, a bit later because I want to show you what it looks like at night time when the place is dark. Um, but really, really looking forward to entertaining you with it because it's just such a nice focal point. It's like a warm feeling. Um, also, something to note is that um, there isn't anything. So it's literally, there's no glass. Um, so just to recap, it's bioethanol. So it uses fuel that doesn't emit fumes and you don't need flu. So it means that we can have it on. We don't need like a chimney and, um, you know, there's not going to be, it's not going to fill the room with like coffee, not going to be coffee because of smoke. Um, but because it, it is an exposed flame just is something to note when you have kids because with Arla we don't put it on in the day there's no real need for us to anyway but we would only put it on when she's not around or if we did put it on we'd have to like make sure she's with us the whole time because obviously it is a bit dangerous for kids um, and it does have a glass bit there so that does protect the flame from being really exposed but it's a little bit dangerous potentially for kids so we've actually got this rubber strip that we put on it that we actually took from the bottom of the TV or the size of the TV and we just run it across that and it fits perfectly um, so it might be worth looking into something to put over the top um, of it just for like the daytime in case I like fell in it or something but I'm sure that it would be absolutely fine but we just want to make sure that she's safe um, let me just quickly show you the other side as well so this is our other cupboard space this is being the best thing because all our all her toys are in here and before they used to be just toys everywhere like her kitchen was out um, it just looked really messy but now it is Arla's toy cupboard and now she's starting to go in it herself so she knows the toys are in there so she just goes in and gets what she wants um, but she can't reach it I'll get it but it's just so self-contained adding the extra height it just gives us so much more room um, and yeah you can't see it so it's great um, so we also had the cupboard done under the stairs so let me just show you that as well so it wasn't actually originally in our plans but then kind of like a few months after we thought about it and we were like you know what we really want to um, maximize the space in here um there was nothing under the stairs before apart from ours toys so we thought right we'll put the big things in here so if you just come closer um we've got kitchen like her play sets we also had a shelf put in here as well um and it's just again there's so much storage and we wanted to have two doors put on it so that Basically, if you open this door, you don't have to get everything out to then get to the next thing. So you've also got a section there. 
and it's so easy now if i want to get something out i can just open both or whatever find where it is and then quickly get it out it takes two seconds Arla also has been getting stuff out there as well um and then yeah we've used the same handles um everywhere the same ones that are on um our other doors but um their pushka i'll link them as well below and then have a look at the glass so i know you guys have seen the glass being put in and you've probably seen bits of that because i did show you but this is like a nice view now for you to see the dining table all the chairs um come around have a look so we changed the door as well to have the glass panel and it just looks really nice so let me just show you because it is relatively soundproof like reason being we wanted the glasses because Nick still uses this as his office so we wanted to have glass instead of making it all one room and also we do like the separation just to have a little bit of like you know we can actually have dinner in there close the door if we want to if I was planning in here for example friends um come and have a look in here so um our canvas glass chandeliers that's made by Love Flowers I'll link their details below so we had this bespoke made for in here but now it's just so nice that in the lounge you can sit in the lounge and see it and the great thing is if you're in the lounge and we're eating dinner in here, for example, Christmas is going to be great. We'll be able to see the fire going. Our tree is going to be in the corner over there. So it's going to look really nice. Um, uh, this table as well, we absolutely love that's from Raft. And that one, we also got bespoke made. Obviously the style isn't bespoke, but we got it bespoke made in terms of the measurement. And I will link them below as well. Our chairs are from West Elm. They don't do them anymore. They have a really similar one. They were called Jane. I think they have something similar. Um, but I'll also link the similar ones below. But we absolutely love it now because we really love our furniture and it was just kind of getting lost. We had a brick wall here, so you'd only see it if you came through the hallway from the door. And now it's just so nice that when you're sitting in the lounge, you can see the furniture. You know, we really love it. We love the gold accents on the legs that sit back to the handles as well, which is nice. Um, yeah, we are really, really happy. Um, one other thing I just wanted to show you guys is the light fixture on the wall. So if you just come round here. So we had this put on the wall, which is really nice. It's got a nice glow to it. It's really nice in the evening. We need that extra light. We don't want to put, we don't really like putting the spotlights on in the evening because it's just too bright. Um, so we've realised over the last month or so that it's too dark in here. So we're going to be having... Um, some pendant lighting put here and also the other side of the sofa obviously we won't, we'll not be having these sofas anymore um so drop down pendants very similar to that light fixture like balls and it will just add that glow in the evening that we want we, we really like a glow um so yeah we're just so happy we've got a bit of a way to go still got to do the sofas still got to do the rug and the coffee table um but it's looking so much like a lounge and it's nice in the evening to come in here and when Arla's gone to bed her toys are away we're not looking at them because we don't have a playroom um so I just highly recommend having a look at your lounge and kind of assessing if you can actually maximize the space in it because we we were kind of like we need to maximize space we've got kids you know that's what you do um and just adding the shelving unit and actually the, the actual unit themselves if you have a look in here it's not that deep but you can fit so much on these shelves so you know you think you take this much out of your lounge but actually you're actually adding so much more space to your lounge because you're taking away all that clutter so it's just a really good idea um the guy that did it steve was amazing we love him thank you so much steve because i know you're gonna watch this um but yeah we're really appreciative he did the best job and he's got such an eye for detail um and he literally took my sketches and made them come to life so we can't thank him enough he did a great job and we're super happy so thank you so much for watching this video guys really appreciate it if you like it give it a like um and subscribe for more thanks so this is an evening view of our fire so that's the high setting it's on at the moment just so relaxing and calming and nice and cosy and warm.